Today we're going to continue with our Project 1.8 Build-A-Body with one of our additional features, decrementing the score. Now in order to update the score, which is one of our additional features, the user will lose one point for every incorrect placement the organ body system places onto that human body outline. Now in order to decrement the score, the logic that we are going to be using is going to be found in that touch up event handler. Now what we want that event handler to do is that the organ system collides with any type of incorrect organ placement. Then we're going to need to go ahead and set that global score to get whatever the global score is and subtract one from it. We will then need to go ahead and update our score label as well to reflect the current global score. You will need to do this for all four of your organ systems. So let's go ahead and take a look in MakeCode on how we can program our app to decrement the score. In order to get our app to update the score, we're going to be looking at the touch up event handler. Now there's four of these, one for each organ system, the brain, digestive system, respiratory system, and urinary system. We're going to be looking within those conditional statements. Now in a previous activity, we went ahead and updated the score by incrementing it whenever we got a correct answer within that then statement. In order to get the score to decrement, we're going to be focusing more on that else statement. And that's when we're going to move that organ system back to its original location. And this will result if that organ system is colliding with the incorrect placement or does not collide with a sprite at all. So what we're going to look at doing is just simply modifying this event handler slightly. We already have most of the code done for us. We just need to change really one block in order to get this to decrement rather than increment. So what we're going to look at is this set global score to get the global score plus one and then that score label text to join the score and get whatever that global score is. What we're going to simply do is switch this additional block over to a subtraction block. So in order to do this, we can simply duplicate that set global score and we're going to go ahead and drop that in the else statement. Now we do need to replace that addition with a subtraction. So we can simply remove that, go to our math drawer and find a subtraction block. From here, we can go ahead and place that get global score and that one back into the subtraction block. Go ahead and then remove that addition block from your app. Here you can now see that if the brain collides with the brain placement, we will increment the score. But if it doesn't collide, now we're going to be subtracting one from our score. Now, don't forget that we also need to update this score labels text. And there's nothing here that we need to modify. So we can just simply go ahead and copy that and drop that into that event handler. Now, once you have that done for one of your touch up event handlers, we just need to go ahead and duplicate that score and go ahead and place it in the remaining three. So we're going to go ahead and grab that set. And from here, we can go ahead and simply drag that into our digestive system. We can then go ahead and place that into our respiratory system. And last but not least, we'll need to go ahead and drag that over into our urinary system. Now, don't forget that we do need that score label text. So we'll go ahead and duplicate that three more times and make sure that falls into place as well. Now, once you have them placed into the correct event handlers, you need to go ahead and try this either on your emulator or on one of your tablets. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what happens now when an organ system collides with the correct placement and what happens when it collides with an incorrect placement. Once you have your emulator or app companion opened up, it's good to go ahead and test to make sure that your score programming is correct. So we've already gone ahead and incremented the score and we know that if we grab each system and place it onto the human body, we should increment our score by one every time it's placed in the correct location. By hitting the reset, we're going to reset the score back to zero and we place all of those systems back into the original location. Now what happens if we place the brain in the incorrect placement? So here you can see if we go ahead and place this where the digestive system should be, we now lose a point rather than gaining a point. Our organ system then goes back to the original location. Even if we go ahead and grab it and drag one of those organ systems to even an incorrect placement and release, we're still going to decrement our score. Check to make sure that when you hit the reset button that your score still goes back to zero. 
So now you've created one of those additional features on how we can decrement our score within our Build a Body app. 